who worked in other disasters. Today you're going to hear lots of buzzwords, you're going to hear lots of great presentations from a lot of great planning firms. Um, and um, I've learned a lot just from walking around and I look forward to working with my fellow colleagues as we go forth in this process. Uh, but I will stack my team up against any in this room. I think we have the capacity, the ability, and that we can help you rebuild your neighborhoods. Going forward, I think we have two things that, again, that I think no other team in this room has. ACORN, 9,000 members in New Orleans, people who are committed to the planning process, who are committed to an exclusionary process, where we respect everyone's ideals, opinions. Uh, we really want to learn from what has been happening. We really want to take all the work that has transpired fire to us um, and to make use of it as we go forth. And I think another important part is that when the planning is over, when a lot of planners have left town, we will be here. New Louisiana, New Orleans is our home. And we are interested in not only in creating the best possible plan that reflects the values and the views of you in this room, for your families and your children and so forth, but to go forth with a process that we can oversee the implementation. This becomes, there's nothing to do just to do the plan, but to create a plan that can in fact be fully implemented. At this point, I want to have Steve Bradbury come up um, and to talk more about how we intend to involve people, especially those who have been displaced uh, in the diaspora, uh, to involve them in the planning process. And then he'll be followed by Ron Schiffman, who will talk about the, our planning principles and how we plan to go about to produce a plan that's going to be a living plan that you, in fact, are part of the planning process going forward. So at this point, I want to ask Steve to come up. Thank you, Richard. Can I stand right here? I don't want to block the... Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Um, first, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. I recognize that this is the night out against crime, and many of you all would like to be in your neighborhoods uh, with your family and friends, um, particularly in these times when we're dealing with so much in this city. New Orleans ACORN, as Richard mentioned, uh, is an organization that has, uh, at the time of the storm, 9,000 member families. We've been in the city of New Orleans for 30 years. Uh, working in primarily low and moderate income neighborhoods, helping communities to come together to deal with issues uh, that they face in terms of trying to improve their quality of life. And that's what we're about here today in terms of trying to develop a plan that will make our neighborhoods better. And we have an, an unmatched ability to make sure that people, one, know what's going on, know where the meetings are going to be, and we have the ability to make sure that people show up and have the ability to participate. One of the things that's very exciting about this opportunity is that not only will we be working with people who are still here in New Orleans, those of us who have come home, but because ACORN is a national organization with over 100 offices across the country, we've been working with people in the diaspora already. Back in October, we formed the ACORN Katrina Survivors Association to make sure that people would be able to receive information about what's going on here in New Orleans, as well as have a way to voice their opinions about what they would like to see happen. We will be working through that group continuously throughout this process. We'll also be working with some of our sister organizations. We have two radio stations in the ACORN family that do radio streaming, and we'll be working with them to make sure that meeting information gets out. That's KNON. In, Little, in uh, Dallas, Texas, and KABF in Little Rock, Arkansas. We also have a national newspaper, which will also serve as a medium for getting information to people around the country. Once again, I said that goes out to over 100 offices across the country. The paper actually gets mailed out to individuals' homes. And at this particular time, there's always an inclusion, a sheet that has information about the rebuilding process that's occurring here in the city of New Orleans. Not to mention the phone banking that we'll be doing. The one? Well, I'll tell you what. We're fantastic at outreach, and I'm gonna let Ryan get on the microphone. <laughs> one minute, well. Let me just say something. Steve Bingler earlier talked about how beautiful this crowd is and how in, uh, different it is because of Katrina. And we had meetings like this as well. The difference was we could go back to our homes. Uh, and it was a nine or a 13 acre site. You couldn't go back to your homes. 
The planning team that's coming here from all over the United States to work with ACORN has had experience in working with ACORN on development projects in East New York and communities throughout the country that were devastated. And we've worked with ACORN Housing to plan, not in a way that is traditionally planning where people come and tell you what they know, but to sit there with you and learn from you and you learn from them and collectively we begin to forge what could be a new plan that builds upon the planning efforts that are already underway. And the group that's here are a group of advocate planners that have a commitment to issues of social, economic, and environmental justice. We've gleaned them from the best universities around the country, from some of the best planning offices around the country, and there's a commitment here to work with you to build upon the planning processes that are now underway to honor those planning processes, and in doing so, to make sure that we don't repeat or erase anything that's been here, but we have a foundation to go ahead and start the rebuilding. The most important thing is to bring people home. And once people are home, we can begin to talk about the infrastructure, we can be begin to talk about the visions that people have in the neighborhoods so that we can begin to rebuild the city in the long run.